Alright, welcome back everybody, and today we're going to be painting this crank bait here. Unfortunately, the conditions for uh, painting are pretty bad at the moment. Last night, I think it was 10 or so degrees out, so in my garage it was really cold and some of the polyurethane, I don't know if you can tell there, but that started to crack and everything. But other than that, this lure works pretty awesome. We got to test it and just drop it in the tank and see how it floated. And uh, it had a nice sink and then it floated back to the surface pretty slowly. So that's what we're going to go for. Hopefully it cranks down and then floats back up pretty well. So. Should be a really awesome lure, so we're gonna go for a bait fish or shad like pattern on this lure. And I'm not quite sure all the all the components that are gonna go into the pattern yet, but we'll just kinda go with the flow and see how it ends up. So thank you for watching and enjoy the video. First we're gonna start with a white base coat. Now we're gonna add some pearlized silver to the top area, also the bottom section here, and that will just add some depth and detailing to the scales and help them pop out more. Now we're going to add some of this full color, color shift, uh, blue brilliant is what it's called, and uh, it's a really cool looking color. So we're just going to add a little bit of this underneath the uh, top line there that we added with the silver. And then I think we're going to go in with a little bit of a lighter color underneath it then. Now some yellow underneath that blue line. It's not a super bright color, but I think it'll look pretty awesome at the end. Underneath all those scales, I think it'll add a pretty cool contrast. Now we're going to add some pearlized black to the top and also around the eye sockets. Alright, I think we have a pretty good base so far and now it's time to add some details with some scales and uh, some more stenciling to make this thing look pretty realistic. I think we're going to add one more detail and uh, this is getting a little bit risky but I think I'm going to add some of this uh, purple here. It's called Purple Brilliant but another one by Color Shift, uh, Full Cart. And uh, I think I'm just going to try to thread the needle here and put this uh, purple in between that blue and the white and uh, I looked at some pictures of different kinds of shad like a uh, thread fin shad and different ones like that and they have kind of a purple or pink effect that goes a little bit underneath the yellow and also in between so I think I might go a little bit in between with a little bit of purple here and uh, see how it ends up so let's give it a shot all right now we're ready for some detail so the stencil or mesh that we're going to be using for the scales here is just an aquarium fish net uh, just like this one I just cut it off the fish net, and I've used it on a bunch of different lures in the past, and I'm always happy with the outcome. It always ends up looking pretty clean, and this uh, mesh material, you can really mold around the lures, so it always has a pretty awesome finish. So we're going to go with this. I think we're going to go with silver, and uh, maybe add some different colors in there, but uh, that's what we're going to go for. So I think that's all I'm going to do with the body here, and uh, the scales end up pretty awesome, but just some simple scale stenciling, and then the next thing is the hard part, and that is the gills. So we're going to try to get some pretty awesome detailed gills with this lure, so uh, that's the next challenge, but looking pretty good so far. So I think I'm going to go with the pearlized black for the gill plates, and uh, I think I'm just going to stick with this for the bait fish kind of theme, and uh, my other black is kind of having trouble spraying right now, so uh, we're going to stick with this one, and then like always we're going to use some white. Just add some depth to it and then some other colors to go along with the rest of the lure. So should end up pretty neat. Now for some white. So now I'm going to take a couple of these colors here. Uh, some gold, silver, and also that blue that we used earlier. Uh, to incorporate a little bit of depth into the gills and make them look a little more natural. Now we're going to take some pearlized white and use the stencil uh, that we cut out and kind of shade the gills there right in the back side. I've never done this before, but I think it would have a pretty cool look to it. Now we're going to use a stencil for the shad dot. Alright, there we are. Finished up the fins there. I just free painted those with a brush. And then those shad dots are looking pretty good. So, this lure is going to be pretty awesome. Can't wait to be able to fish with it during the summertime. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys along for that adventure. So, now it's time to get the eyes on, sign it, and then clear coat it. Alright, here are the eyes in and also the lip. I want a pretty big lip here, but 
Hopefully that, that uh, rewards us with a pretty cool action. So that's what it's looking like, and now it's time to clear coat. All right, so now we're going to drop in the water here and see how we did. Look at that. Those layers of clear coat definitely added some extra weight, but it just kind of hangs there and bobs on the bottom. So that's pretty awesome. I think this thing would definitely have a really cool uh, kind of jerk in action. And uh, maybe it'll work like a jerk bait or crank bait, but we'll only be able to test that in the summertime. But I'm definitely going to take all these lures out and bring you guys along. And we'll be able to see these things in action. So can't wait for that. But uh, that's how it sinks. All right, here it is, finish up lure. Unfortunately, it does have a bunch of little bumps on it, but that's from the clear coat. Uh, it did have a uh, kind of crystallized effect to it. I don't know why. It's never done that before, but uh, I used a resin instead of the normal clear coat I used, which I shouldn't have done, I guess. But uh, I'm just going to use my regular uh, clear coat, and that should fix up all those blemishes that are left on this lure. So this one should end up pretty awesome. I just have to add a couple more layers. So if you guys want to see pictures of the final, final product, go check out my Instagram. I'll put that uh, picture up in a couple of days. And uh, you guys will be able to see uh, the finished up product. So it should be pretty awesome. I think this thing will definitely catch some fish. But I'll try out some new things with this lure by adding the lip after we were done painting. Just to see if I get a cleaner outcome with that. So I think it definitely did. And it's definitely fun to try out new things with that. So pretty awesome. With that being said, thank you guys so much for sticking to the end. And let me know if you guys like this different kind of video. Uh, normally I make full videos of how I made the lures. But let me know if you like this or if you didn't or anything you guys have in your mind. So that being said, thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.